this is Tommy. Um, he's done really well. He just, he's very young and he tries to get away with whatever he can. So just be easy on him, but yet be kind of strict to where you don't let him get away with much or else he will try it every time. Um, through all these exercises, I got a six foot leash. It's actually one that I bought for you, six foot leash with a prong collar. I got the prong collar really, really loose. If you pull too hard, he, he does a little, he gets scared, he does a little yelp. But don't, don't pull hard. If you're walking him and the trick to the heel is just if he goes somewhere else other than where you're walking or too far ahead or lagging or trying to go to the other side, just give a little pull and release as you continue to walk. Never stop. Just keep walking and tell him to heal. And his reward is to keep the leash loose. Anybody can drag their dog around like this. He's not going to like it. He's going to learn to pull all the time. Keep it loose. When you're walking and you feel you get it tight, just pull and release and tell him to heal. And keep walking. Do not stop. If you stop and cater to him, he's going to—he's walking you. You're not walking him. Okay, so we're going to do the heel unleash, the sit stay, the down stay, and the recall when we return. Good boy, Tommy. Okay, so through the heel, which is going to be our next exercise here, dog is always at your left side, okay? Put him in a sit. The hand signal to sit is just bring your hand up like this. Tell him to sit. Okay. If he doesn't do it, just give him a little pull on the on the on the collar and the leash, and tell him again. If he doesn't do it, then then make him sit. Just kind of pull back on the leash a little bit, and push down on his hiney. But he usually sits very good. Okay. So we're going to take our first step and use the word heel, and he should heel along beside us. And every time we stop, he should stop, and I'll make him sit if he doesn't already do it. Right turn, left turn, about turn, he should be right at your left side. Okay, ready, Tommy? Come on, heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Heel. Good boy, Tommy. Good boy. Probably one of his worst things is, is he sometimes gets sniffing. And when his nose is to the ground, he's not paying attention to you. So if you make a turn or stop or whatever, sometimes he's not listening. So I just don't stop walking. Just give a little pull and release and keep walking. And he picks his head up and continues to go. He's doing very good. Um, so end of exercise. Good boy. Okay, again, the hand signal to sit is just bring your hand up like this. And then the next hand signal, because this is going to be a sit stay. Just put the palm of your hand in his face and tell him to stay as you walk to the end of your six foot leash. But as you walk away, reinforce the word stay or he's going to try to follow you. He'll try you when you first get him home or when you first try to work him and he's going to try to follow you. Put him back. Don't put him in a sit out here and do it over. Put him back to where you started, right here. Tell him to sit. Take your time. Don't try to rush it. Tell him to stay and just walk away real slowly until you get to the end of your six foot leash. Don't stay very long at all. Uh, three seconds, five seconds, and then return. Don't release him from his stay until you get all the way back in this position where you started out. Okay, sit, stay, 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 stay. Exercise finished and praise your dog. Good boy. Okay, this is going to be his recall. It's going to be exactly like the sit, stay. Uh, same hand signal, same everything. You're going to get out to the end of your leash. Stay. Stay. And then you're just going to turn and face him. And the third hand signal to learn is the one to call him. You're going to bring your hand to your chest and tell him to come. Use his name in a nice high-pitched voice so he wants to come to you. And you're going to tell him to come. And he should come. And hopefully, come on, Tommy. Come on. Sit. And he should come and sit at your feet. If he doesn't sit, make him sit when he gets there. And... Uh, that's where you got to start out so when he's off leash later on you call him he'll come to you you notice with all these exercises that I'm not using any treats in my opinion that's a last resort because they learn real quick if you got treats or if you don't if you don't have them they're not going to listen very well okay so sit stay stay now I'm going to put him right back to where he started he's about a foot ahead so come on come on sit good boy stay Stay. Stay. Come, come. Exercise finished and praise your dog. Good boy, Tommy. Okay, this is going to be Tommy's 
you're smelling something there, so I'm going to come up here. Come on. Sit. Um, this is Tommy's downstay. It's not his strongest one. Sometimes I got to help him down. Um, that's probably my, more my fault than anything. Um, we didn't start that until a bit, little bit late in the game. I think he's going to be very good, but it's also the most submissive state for the dog, so he um, he doesn't really want to do it to begin with. But he's doing better and better, so I think he'll be great at it eventually. You're just going to have him at your left side, like the rest of the exercises. Turn and face him, and I even get right almost to the ground. I put my finger right on the ground and tell him to down. I tell him only twice in case maybe he didn't hear me the first time or whatever. And if he doesn't, the third time I tell him, I kind of help him down gently. And that way, it's just like a child. If you tell them over and over and over and over, they're going to expect they don't have to go down or do whatever you're telling them to do until you tell them 20 times. We're all kind of guilty of that. Hey, sit. So let's start out on the right foot with him and only tell him twice, then make him do it. Okay, Tommy? Yeah. Always, always do it from a sit also. Sit. Good boy. Down. Down. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. Really reinforce the word stay or he's going to get up and try to hop up into a sit. Stay. Stay. Down. Stay. 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 Exercise finish and praise your dog. Come on, baby. Come on. Good boy. Okay, for a conclusion, uh, Tommy's done really, really well. Uh, I think he's capable of a lot. If um, you're ever, ever interested in doing the off leash, um, basically I do everything I just did in, in this video and I do it off leash, and that takes about three or four weeks, usually about four weeks to, for him to stay here. Come on. Sit. And you notice with the leash, with, with this collar, I, I don't pull very hard at all. He doesn't need that. Um, I tried the little rubber boots on, on the prongs of this collar, which you can do. The only thing, his hair is kind of curly and it's kind of long. They get caught in the, um, the, the prongs, I mean the rubber boots get caught in the hair more. I think it pulls more with the rubber boots than it does anything else. Hey, sit and stay. So he's done really well. Going in and out of doorways, I always make him sit and stay. And I open up the door, do the recall, tell him to come through in and out of the building all the time. So I would, if it were me, continue that going in and out of your house at home. Come on. Sit. And it just kind of establishes who's the, the dominant one in the family and he will listen better and better and better to that person. So, um, if you ever opt to do the off lead, I think he'd definitely be capable of it. Thank you very much.